Hi and welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do another trailer reaction. The last one that I'm gonna do with you know the stuff coming out of D23 this year. We maybe didn't get as many trailers as we wanted, you know, from Lucasfilm and Marvel, but I'm I'm in that camp where when they want us to know, when they are ready to show us some of this stuff, they definitely will. Uh, I, I get why people thought that it might have been a little bit underwhelming because of, you know, certain expectations. But I, I didn't really have any big expectations per se. Uh, a, a trailer that I really wanted to see maybe was, uh, you know, just something with Ahsoka. But they're still shooting that one. And again, whenever they're ready to show us something from that, then... Yeah, they're definitely going to, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, but this is not Star Wars. This is Marvel. This is the MCU. We've already gotten a lot of MCU series on Disney+, Plus, and I've been catching up on all of them. We have some reactions um, on the channel for a number of them, like Loki and WandaVish WandaVision, <laughs> sorry, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, right now, I'm watching She-Hulk over on... Patreon. Uh, I'm not going to release those uh, for YouTube because I simply don't have the time at the moment. Kat and I, we, we yeah, we just became parents. <laughs> we just had a baby. Uh, so the majority of our time is, you know, spent you know, focusing on being parents um, and being there for our little gold nugget. <laughs> and if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing like the video, comment, and please, please, please take a look at our Patreon as well. We have a lot of stuff coming over there and that's the, the way that this channel can survive is with patrons supporting us. Um, so yeah, please consider taking a look at that. There's a link down in the description below. But yeah, let's get into this trailer. Uh, I'm really excited about it, really excited about this secret invasion and with the return of Nick Fury, Samuel L. Jackson. He's just perfect, perfect, perfect in that role. I don't know much about um, what's going what, what's going to be in the series other than it's going to have something to do with, well, the scrolls, because that's how it is in, in, in the comics. Uh, that's why it's called Secret Invasion, because they can transform themselves and they can look like, well, us humans. But let's just jump into it. This is the official trailer for... Marvel's Secret Invasion. Here we go. Whoa. Oh yeah, and last we saw, Nick Fury was in space. For years, you've been avoiding Earth. I have called for your help plenty of other times. Nah, he hasn't been you back in a while. Tend to let those calls go straight to voicemail. Mm. Yeah, well, this is different. This is different. Oh, and Maria Hill is back. How much do you know about your security detail? What do you mean, how much do I know about her? Hey, Rhodes. Fuck yes, Martin Freeman. Fury, we gotta be very Ah, oh, and Ben Mendelsohn. Ah, tell us. Okay, that's spooky. You're in no shape for this fight that lies before us. Are you sure? This is just the beginning. This is my war. Alone. Alone. The last person standing between them and what they really want. Hmm. Amelia Clark as well. And what is that? What is that? Ah, there we go, the eye patch. What they want is a secret invasion. <laughs> Streaming 2023. Boom. Yep, that looks pretty damn amazing. Very much in line with um, like the tone that we got in Captain America and the Winter Soldier, which is definitely one of my favorite MCU movies so far. And it 
Samuel Jackson was amazing in that. And, and the whole spy thriller aspect of it seems like we're going to be getting a lot of that. And you don't know who you can trust. Again, that makes so much sense with the scrolls. And he wants to go at it alone. He hasn't been back to Earth for a while. Maria Hill has even, like, she's tried to, to, to contact him because, well, yeah, a lot of stuff has been going on. A lot of stuff is always going on in the MCU. But now he is back and he uh, he's the only one standing between, you know, the scrolls and, and, and then what they want. Again, Secret Invasion. Looks so damn good. Uh, I, I, I love when they play around with, with genres and, and I definitely always enjoy a good um, spy thriller. Got some returning characters, um, returning actors that I'm very happy to see come back. Martin Freeman, freaking love that guy. He's always uh, great. He's playing... Um, Ross, that's his name, right? Um, first name just eludes me at the moment. Sorry, I, I, I still have like parent, like new parent brain going on where like a lot of stuff is just disappearing. Uh, but it's, it's probably supposed to be that way. <laughs> we, of course, got um, Ben Mendelsohn back as Talos. I love that. I love that he's going to be part of this. Again, it makes so much sense because he is a scroll. And then we have Emilia Clarke joining the MCU. That's really, really exciting. I would love for her to get another big, you know, popular role that like she can sink her teeth into um, something like Daenerys. And, and, and I still want to see her come back as, uh, as Kira in Star Wars at some point. Perhaps they're going to do that. Uh, you never know. And then we, of course, also have Don Cheadle as Rhodes, War Machine. I think that is, uh, they said something about this one like leading right into another series, Armor Wars, where Rhodes is going to be more or less uh, the, the lead in, in that one. So that's going to be interesting. And I, I'm, all in all, like I thought at one point during the MCU that they were kind of just, you know, phasing out Nick Fury and Samuel Jackson. But I'm so happy that they're giving him more to do again now because Samuel Jackson, he loves this role and he, he's always amazing like no matter what he does he's just he's great in it they of course also talked about some of the other mcu properties at d23 like the thunderbolts really looking forward to that one getting that team up with a lot of amazing characters and uh, the avengers movies that we're getting into at the end of phase six with kang yeah focusing on Kang as the big overarching villain for this multiverse saga. Uh, that that's really really exciting, and the one that I'm I'm the most excited about, and and I think a lot of you guys are very excited about that this one as well is Daredevil: Born Again. Oh, I cannot freaking wait uh, because Daredevil, those three seasons on Netflix, they were just like almost flawless, I would say, especially like the first and the, the third season um, was just mwah, all the way through. And the stuff in the second season with The Punisher, I love that as well. Not as keen on the stuff that we got with Elektra. Uh, that, that wasn't, you know, as good as... as the rest of the series but but it's still like way up there when it comes to marvel properties for me um, and, and i'm also curious to know like exactly how that series and the three seasons that we already got like how they're going to fit into the mcu now or if it's if they're gonna do the whole like it's it's a different it's a variant you know it's uh it's another multiverse and that's how they're gonna explain it um, and, and make it fit into the MCU that that we know now, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll see, we'll see what they do. And Everett Ross, that's his, that's the name of the character that Martin Freeman is playing. I don't know why that just all of a sudden came to me. Uh, yeah, never mind. There's there's a lot of stuff to look forward to, and this trailer in particular, yeah, that that was um, whew, that was great. And this series looks it looks pretty damn good. I I hope I can do some reactions um for for this one in particular when it comes out sometime next year. Uh, but what did you guys think about the trailer for Secret Invasion? What did you think about the the entire panel in general? What 
Kevin Feige talked about what they what they showed there with all of the stuff coming in um, later on in the MCU for the remainder of Phase Four. Although, yeah, that's that one is you know ending very very soon, or yeah, very very soon at least. I, I don't I can't remember like which project is kind of you know capping that that one off. And, but then we're moving into Phase Five and then Phase Six. Um, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming coming there, and I can't wait to hear more about maybe some fantastic four news when when they when they want to tell us about that when they have something to tell us um and how they're going to incorporate the x-men yada 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 there's a lot there's a lot coming it's all very very exciting but again please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already like comment take a look at the patreon link is down in the description below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you as soon as possible Bye.